Yeah. I'm not vegan. I'm not going to be vegan either, but I appreciate what Why not? Why not? Why, why do you seem so <laughs> adamant? If I had an animal here, a yeah. lamb, and I gave you a knife and I said, slash their head off hmm. and I'll make you a kebab, oh, then that is the worst karma you could possibly generate. Mm -hmm. you on YouTube, How are you, yeah? mate? How are you? Who are you trying to convince today? What's the game, mate? I was just giving out some ve vegan food and then uh, it's all gone now. I had a whole table full of stuff. Uh, yeah. Gave it all out for Christmas, so yeah. Yeah, I've seen a couple of your things. Have you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not vegan. I'm not going to be vegan either, but I appreciate what Why not? Why not? Why, why do you seem <laughs> so adamant? I can't give up meat, but yeah. honestly, I'm not exactly keen on my greens and that either. Wait, how many animals do you think are tortured and killed, will be tortured and killed? How old are you? 28. 28? Mm -hmm. So that's 28 years eating meat every single day. Once, once but today. dairy, there's definitely going to be dairy and eggs. Oh, of course. And all those animals are tortured and killed as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now you're going to live, let's just say you live to 80. Yeah. That's a lot of animals tortured and killed. It could be 100, 200 a year. Easily, granted, yeah. Yeah, so that's a lot of suffering and death. For, for your pleasure. And it's only a small yeah, amount of pleasure. Like when you have a burger, right? How long does that pleasure last for? The time of the meal. If you had a vegan burger, it feels the same in the stomach, doesn't it? It fills you up. Of course, yeah. Food is food. Yeah. But, and flavour. And so as I said, I'm not good on greens. I understand there are alternatives. I know you've got, like, you know, tofu, nuts, so on so forth. Beyond burgers and burger, vegan, vegan burgers and that. Yeah, yeah. So so sausage rolls. Something and a lot more widely available and yeah. such. And to be honest, I'm a bit silly in terms of I won't even try them, just because, well, I'm a meat eater. I look at something vegan and I'll go, so it's, it's a not bit, for me. It's a bit irrational, eh? Yeah, granted. It, it, right. It's, it's kind of like, it's not spite, because no, a vegan's mm. never been, has a vegan ever attacked oh, you? No, there's no spite behind it. It's just like you're a meat eater. Like, it, who, taught, who taught you that? Because you could go to like, where that seed, seed was planted. I don't think it was a case of it was taught. It was just, it's oh, not, know, it's my not from... entire life, my family, everyone. What about I the men in your family? Are they meat, meat, meat eating type yeah. of bloke? So I they... don't think I know a vegan. I know one, sorry, someone at work. I really talk to him, but outside of that one person, everyone I know, everyone I've been raised with, we all eat meat. You so know, that was like the same. Going back to the school days, you know, finish school, what should yeah. you do? Oh, let's go get some chicken and chips. Yeah. Silly yeah. things like that. It's just always been part and parcel of life. Same here. Me. I ate meat up until I was 26, three times a day sometimes. Okay. I also hated when people were cruel to animals. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if I seen someone, like back in the days, if I, I literally seen someone harming an animal, I would smash their head I'm right the same. in. I'm you know, saying, that, that yeah. was me. Yep, 100%. Kick a dog. I hated and hunting. I'm going to kick you four times harder. Yeah, yeah. like, like innocent yeah. animals being, too, you know, but yeah. I was eating the animals, but if I seen yeah. it, like, you know Which what I mean? Again, contradiction. Yeah. I, I hate being a hypocrite, man. So can I ask you, what came about for you to then turn vegan? What, what made you so change? It first started, uh, waiting to go to court. I had a gun charge. So I was on house arrest for 18 months. They can't, they don't let you leave the house. Yes. I got heaps fat, eating meat. And then I was looking for a diet to lose weight. Come across this juice fasting dude. And he was talking about fruits and vegetable juices. So I started doing that, lost a bunch of weight, become clear. Mm -hmm. And then um, he was talking about karma. And he was like, when you eat the suffering body mm. of an animal, you're taking on everything that animal went through, yeah. the fear before they died and I was like, mm -hmm. you know, I knew about karma because in the world I was from, mm. it happened all the time. Bad things happen to bad people, you know. I'm a heavy believer. Yeah, yeah, karma. karma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that makes sense. And I didn't, yeah. I didn't go vegan. I still was eating, I was just eating more plants and I was like eating a bit more chicken. Went to prison, eating mm. chicken in prison, but I was eating more plant foods, you mm. know. So I started getting sober, got out. And then I had this inconsistency. I was telling my mum when I got out of jail, I was like, you should quit smoking, mum, it's real bad for you, you know? I, I'm now, I'm sober. I was, she's like, looked at me like, you're crazy. You've just been in prison. You've been doing drugs your whole life. <laughs> yeah. Who are you to tell me? But she said, there's a lot of vices people have, they just don't change. And when she said that, I reflected on my own hypocrisy. I hate being a hypocrite. And I was like, mm -hmm. I've always known it's wrong to harm animals, save the dogs, save mm -hmm. the the whales, you know, if someone seen someone hunting, I'd hate it, mm -hmm. but I had a piece of a cow on my plate. Yeah. And it was in that moment, I just had this realization where I was like, I'm a hypocrite, mm -hmm. I hate it, I'm going vegan tomorrow. And I went vegan yeah. the next day. Cause I was in this thing of changing my life. Going, yeah. I got out of jail, getting yeah. sober, quit turning the drugs, the page. turning yeah. the page. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, what type of person am I gonna be? Am I gonna, am I gonna be this, cause I've got a conscience and I hate it, it eats me up inside. Yeah, I'm the same. No one's gonna come back on you, but you. That's yeah. your conscience. That that of course. you know that guilt yeah. will eat you up inside. If you don't have that, that's fine. I did. I did. And yeah. so now, even if no one was watching, mm -hmm. I eat vegan. Right. I do the vegan yeah, thing because it's me that I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If I had an animal here, a yeah. lamb, say mm -hmm. a little lamb, little cute little lamb, mm -hmm. and he was like nuzzling your your, your leg, right? Mm -hmm. And he, he didn't want to die. Mm -hmm. And I gave you a knife, and I said, slash their head off. Hmm. and I'll make you a kebab. I couldn't, but then, and obviously I know it carries no weight because I live in a city. If I lived in the wilderness, if, you had if to. I needed to eat, 
and I'll okay. still be there okay. I'm having that death. If, if you had to kill me, you would probably, in a situa in a certain situation, well, let's just say I was coming to attack you, burn your house down, and kill your family oh, or something. Oh, yeah, then obviously I'd And you had a gun. Way. I wouldn't eat you, but... Yeah, but you would shoot me. <laughs> yeah. But what I'm saying is, in extreme circumstances, you, are, you would do things like kill an animal yeah. or oh, kill yeah. a person. I'm trying yeah. to say that this isn't the circumstance that yeah. you need to do it. So right now, like, mm -hmm. you, you could go get a kebab. Or you're essentially taking one step removed. You're paying someone to, down the line, murder this animal, chop them up into pieces. So you're not, you're not, you don't have the knife in your hand, but you have metaphorically the knife in your hand. You're an influence to the action. Yeah. yeah. yeah and over I the course of your that. life, you're eating like kilograms and kilograms of dead bodies. Yeah causing all of this suffering down the line and it's as simple as making this lifestyle change that ends that immediately i'm gonna flip it a bit becoming vegan has become somewhat of a i say a trend not necessarily a trend just more people are a bit more conscious these yeah. days so on so called information is more spreadable yeah with such large numbers now of people that will avoid me i may be wrong i may be right is there not deforestation which is occurring to then supplement that which in turn is having a negative impact on the environment B being vegan doesn't mean you have some zero impact you can't live with zero impact no one can no yeah but course. like i will say this that the plant foods are monocropping and things mm -hmm. what do you think these animals are eating the chickens in the sheds what are the chickens in the sheds eating a lot of seed and scrap sometimes yeah, or... well they're eating soya the, yeah. the animals over here the chickens over here mm. they're eating soya from the amazon getting yeah, imported over planted. like you're talking about nearly 60 billion chickens being slaughtered every year they're being fed cultivated crops yeah and so yeah. and the cows the cow have you ever dri dri like driven past a dairy farm seen all those big stacks of hay mm -hmm. they're getting harvested and grown oh, of course yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, you know they need a lot of land cows too mm. so like when you look at across in england mm. where's the forest do you think this is natural English land? No, this has all been deforested. Oh, of course. For of animal course. agriculture. Yeah, I understand So that. Mu much more deforestation has to happen mm -hmm. and much more environmental damage and much more resource use, water, mm. food, to have a small morsel of flesh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because a cow is like, you've got to feed them, walk, give them all this water, land, mm -hmm. and you get a little bit of flesh after, yeah. after you know, six months, 18 months. Yeah. So you're generating all of these resources that could be used to feed humans, starving people all over the world, but yeah. people want to eat meat. So they're going to pour all these resources into the cows mm -hmm. to get a little bit of dairy out of them, some eggs out of the chicken. Yeah. So it's an incredibly insane use of resources. And I do completely agree, you know, the term torture with animals. Couldn't yeah. agree more rather yeah. because I've seen, you know, videos this that and the other of you can see animals are literally fearful of their living condition. And there was only one I watched the other day, it was a bloody pig. It literally rolled over backwards, looked like it was gonna break its neck just because it wanted to get out of this yeah. tiny little pen which was barely big enough to fit its body in. Yeah. So I completely agree, and who knows, in five years' time, perhaps a bit of research, if I could find alternatives which suit me, perhaps I'll make a change. Yeah. Will it happen in the next year? Don't you That's know. That's a definite not. So you don't know what happens in a year. I could have a life-changing moment, which... Maybe you see something, maybe something happens to you. Mm. Maybe you realise, maybe you think, like, mate, I've been, I've been self-absorbed, and there's mm. some, sometimes a big, like, what happened to me? Like, some bad things happened to me, yeah. man. And I, I started to see the I've become a victim. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I know what it's like to be a victim. I know what it's like to be, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. terrified. You know what I mean? I appreciate that, yeah. So, like, and then I thought, sometimes I deserved what come my way. I wasn't that good either. Yeah, yeah. These animals done nothing to no one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, we're doing suffering and torture and killing onto these innocent beings who can't defend themselves. Mm -hmm. As an entire race, we are doing that to them. If you believe in anything other than, like, I've got, I get a bit superstitious, I believe in karma and things like this, oh, the then same, that yeah. is the worst karma you could possibly generate mm -hmm. because these beings they literally like if you do something to ch a child you're going to know about it like if someone finds out about it right you do something to a human they can go talk about it they can yeah. protest for themselves go to the cops mm -hmm. you do something to these animals nothing's going to happen to you course, literally you you're only them. relying yeah. on on your conscience to avoid literally, that yeah it's yeah, legal you can go to the shop right now buy a tortured chicken yeah. you know what i mean yeah. so it's only your conscience mm -hmm. that's stopping you yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with You're you. not even going to go to jail. Mm. You could probably have a chicken in your backyard, cut the head off, and cops wouldn't. I don't think they would say anything. Without but, a doubt, that yeah. was definitely recently in the UK, octopus and I think crabs. Of other yeah, yeah, sentient yeah. beings. They're exactly. already sentient before they recognise them. That's amazing. Yeah. Because again, especially these things are usually cooked alive. Yeah, I don't want them to be cooked alive. extreme to suffering. But the pigs are all gassed in gas chambers of yeah. CO2, and yeah. uh, they struggle for 30 seconds and violently thrash. Mm -hmm in these dungeons full of CO2. People will call that humane. They say it's the most humane method to mm -hmm. stun pigs. In the UK, it's most of the pigs are stunned in gas chambers. Mm. The thing is, it's a, pretty, it's a pretty incredible thing that you have your conscience to navigate the world, yeah. right? And you can oh, choose to ignore it, right? You can choose to ignore it and you can go on like I used to do. I used to leave a trail of mm -hmm. a wake of destruction behind me. I didn't care about people, I only cared about 
my own pleasure seeking. Yeah. Like it's all on you. Like I can't follow you around and go, oh man, like you said you're going to go <laughs> vegan. What are you doing, bro? Yeah, like course, no one's going to hold you accountable if you hang around only meat eaters. It's just you. So it's a pretty powerful it's thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're your own critic at the end of the day. Yeah, you've given me a lot to think it's about. It's empowering as well, bro, because you're going against most people, especially men. Oh, definitely. You yeah. know, and you can yeah. say, I've got principles. I don't want to do that to that little bird. Would I Would I cut this lamb's head off right here? Mm. No, I wouldn't. Why would I do the coward's way of paying someone else? You know, you could have yeah. this conversation with you. I have this conversation with myself all the time. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to do it, but would I, you know, I used to pay for it behind closed doors. Mm. But as soon as I was faced with it, I was like, we got to smash these slaughterhouse workers. What are they doing to these animals? Wait a second, I'm paying for it to happen. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it wouldn't be happening without people well, like myself now. Yeah. 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 Cool. All these people, all these people that say they're against animal cruelty, mm -hmm. they're all funding it. Know, they're all yeah. massive hypocrites yeah, and I then understand that, yeah. it's just like you, you, a few people will go i don't want to be a hypocrite mm. and they change mm. you know what i mean yeah and they live consistently with their values you know what i mean yeah, of course. not everyone but yeah. some people you stopped you had enough awareness you wanted to have a conversation yeah. you said i'd never go vegan mm. which is what everyone says you know at some stage I've seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah as i said you've given me a lot of food for thought yeah um, let me give you a little bit of a just you know some documentaries to watch anyway. I'll tell if you you've what, been watching I'll my change, videos. I'll change my no to a you never possibility. Know. You never right. know, mate. You never know. No worries. It was nice for the chat. And uh, even so, if you don't ever go vegan, it's good to have you as support anyway, like in support of what we do. Of course. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's better to have friends that support what we're Definitely. doing, but you you know you might not have the discipline to go vegan, yeah. but at least you're in support of what we're doing. And Definitely. that's- 100%. Yeah. 100%. Build bridges like that, man, and like, because maybe one day there's a law that passes, and you're like, well, you know what? I'm going to vote to bring animal rights in or something, and then, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you can at least support the cause without, you know. Because again, another con contradiction, but yeah, I love my mate, and it feels horrible for you to hear. But if there was a law, no more slaughtering, blah blah, I'd be like, what am I going to eat now? <laughs> but yeah. I would still support it. Yeah. So, yeah, as I said, food for fault. No worries, uh, brother. Appreciate Good chat to you, mate. Hey. What's your name again? Darren. Darren. Good Darren. to meet you, Darren. Nice Take, care. Take care. No worries, mate. All right, so that was uh, handing out a bunch of food out the front of Tesco for Christmas. I don't know what we're going to call it, but something like Tesco Christmas food takeover giveaway thingy. But like, had a really good, some really good conversations with people. They were actually quite shocked that I was just giving food away without there being no strings attached, except for don't harm the animals. So I think I'll do this again. I think it was really successful. People want to come up and talk. You have, you know, conversations with people about animals, animal rights, you give them a little guide, give them something to think about, show them a bit of footage. And uh, yeah, I think it's really successful and I want to do more of it. Let's, let's go, let's go. Where are we going next? Sainsbury's? Where are we going? Morrison's? Let's do it. <laughs>